exactly where it goes. One of our family activities this week was to assemble a fairly difficult 500-piece puzzle of a Parisian storefront. The puzzle scene is very geometric, lots of rectangular windows outlined in blue trim. The center is, is a set of double doors that are also made of glass, and they reflect the street behind it. All of the windows have different pictures of graphics and signage and fonts. And, and, and in the reflection, you can see the street behind it and the passers-by and the activities that are taking place on the street. How about, does that make anybody want to go to France? Courtney and I, we began assembling the edge pieces of the puzzle on our dining room table. As we all know, that's the best place to start when putting together a puzzle of any size, of any complexity. <clears throat> and the puzzle would remain a work in progress throughout the week on our dining room table. And whenever we had time, we would sit down and we would work on it. And Courtney and I would work on it uh, uh, on my lunch break while I was working from home. And we would sit together and, and we would put some more pieces in. And, and every once in a while, Ashlyn and Reagan would come by and they would help out and, and they would pitch in and, and try and put a piece in. It was in one of these moments that Ashlyn, she picked up a piece uh, of the center of the puzzle, which at this time, the puzzle itself was just the perimeter. It was just the edge pieces. But she took that piece that was a center piece, and she said, I know exactly where this goes. I looked at her in amazement, thinking, wow, she's going to take this piece, and she's going to plug it into the, one of those edge pieces, and it's just going to set us on a, on a path to complete that portion of the puzzle. But as I looked at her, instead of her interlocking that with one of the edge pieces, Ashlyn took that piece and she placed it right in the center of this big open area within the puzzle. When I saw her do that, I laughed and I thought it was hilarious. She knew exactly where that piece went. She placed it right in the middle of the open puzzle area. To me, it looked like it was just a random set piece, but to Ashlyn, she was convinced she had the right place. <clears throat> While it was funny to me, Ashlyn was so confident in her placement of the piece. And time would later reveal that it wasn't as seemingly random as I thought. The other puzzle pieces, as they continued to be placed uh, methodically and purposefully, they began to fit together and they began to uh, be interlocked into their rightful place, and the puzzle began to take shape around Ashland's piece. And while it may have moved slightly, it was exactly where it needed to be. In Colossians chapter 2, verses 5 through 7, the Apostle Paul wrote, For though I be absent in flesh, yet am I with you in spirit. Joying and beholding your order and the steadfastness of your faith in Christ. As ye have therefore received Christ Jesus the Lord, so walk ye in him, rooted and built up in him, and established in the faith as ye have been taught, abounding therein with thanksgiving. Paul would first note two things. He's, first of all, he would say, though we are apart, we're united in spirit. That sounds familiar to our, our circumstances today. Secondly, their order or their rightful positioning and their steadfast faith in Christ, it brought joy to Paul. Those are things that I think we could be proud of too. First of all, that we're united in spirit. Secondly, uh, our positioning. We got to make sure our positioning is right. And thirdly, to be steadfast in Christ of our faith in Christ, and, and to know that that brings joy. Uh, it brought joy to the Apostle Paul. He would encourage them to continue to walk in Christ Jesus, rooted and built up in Him, and, uh, and encourage them to continue to walk in Christ, established in their faith, and to overflow with thanksgiving. In moments like we're living right now, when the path is unknown, 
and the journey is uncharted, we can know exactly where it goes when it comes to our faith. This pandemic has caught everyone off guard, and even the wise are confounded. While everything around us is being shaken, why don't we let the children of God rest in our confidence and our knowledge of Jesus Christ? If we place our faith rightfully in Him and continue to walk as, on, on as we know uh, to do, not only will He sustain us, but the pieces will fall into place and they'll interlock into the rightful place and time will reveal a beautiful picture and we'll understand it better by and by. Let's pray together. God, we place our faith confidently in you who has never failed us. And Lord, we ask that you would help us each day to place you at the center of our lives, of our families, our church, and our communities. Help us to continue doing the things we know to do, to pray, to study your word, to care for others, to share for others, or share with others, and to be thankful. We know that you will fill in all the missing pieces and reveal something beautiful through it all. We pray it all in the precious name of Jesus. Amen.